are many reasons why the national high school dropout rate is in the double digits. Our next guest says there is one common denominator. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Please welcome Laurel Ducart. She is the president of the Gateway to College National Network. Thanks for being with us. You say that of all the different reasons, and, and there are reasons like bullying, like no one cares about me, but they all come back to poverty. We've been working with young people who've left school for about 10 years, thousands of young people across America. And one of the things that we really hear over and over again are issues that really do relate to poverty. Homelessness, one in 10 of the young people that we work with say homelessness was a reason that they left school. Lack of health care, uh, needing to move around a lot, couch surfing because their homing situation is, is challenging. Uh, their family needs them to stay home to take care of a younger sibling. Mm -hmm. work work um, to help support the family. There are a lot of different reasons, but it makes going to school in a traditional high school environment really challenging. We've heard rates from a quarter to half the students in any given area will drop out of high school. Would you term that as an epidemic? Absolutely. 1.6 million young people drop out of high school every year. And without that diploma, there are really a lot of uh, close doors to them as they move forward into their adulthood. They're not going to have access to the kind of jobs that are really going to put them on a career path and get them out of poverty. That's why everyone talks about the cycle of poverty. Mm -hmm. Another interesting statistic is that one in four of our students have at least one parent without a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people talking about the first um, first to go to college in the family, but the high school dropout problem is really affected by a lack of role models as well. And it's not necessarily that your group, the Gateway to College National Network, is helping them to get their GED. You're helping them to get into alternative situations to get that high school diploma. Tell me about what, uh, what your group does to help them. Well, we create partnerships all around the country between community and technical colleges and school districts to offer an alternative so that young people can go to school on a college campus, take college classes, but through dual credit, they get to fill in what's missing for their diploma requirements. And that's a lot. On average, less than half of the credits needed for a diploma is what our young people bring in the door. So they're taking courses like biology and chemistry and English and history, and they're fulfilling their high school diploma requirements, but they're also getting a real jump start on their college career. When they graduate with their diploma, on average they have about 35 college credits already, and almost all of them keep going or are um, ready with a certificate to get a better job. So it's really, um, great for them to finish high school, but it's not enough. It's that college credential that's going to turn things around for their future. And what if they can't afford tuition? Because it's paid for largely with public dollars, it's free to the students. Even their books are provided. And uh, you say the Gates Foundation has a lot to do with the success of what started in Portland and has grown to 20 states. That's right. The model was originated at Portland Community College in partnership with Portland Public Schools and was doing very well. The Gates Foundation uh, learned about it, came and visited and was intrigued and gave the college the initial startup money to go out and begin replicating. Since then, a lot of great funders have joined, Anna McConnell Clark, Carnegie, Irvine, Kresge and others. So we've been fortunate to be able to start programs in almost 50 cities. It's, uh, you were there from the beginning when it was just in Oregon. Did you have any idea? Did you have, could you fathom that you'd be in 23 states? I think I had the hope that it could because I knew the extent of the problem. And I really believe that without education, young people are going to have a very grim future. There are three and a half more times more likely to go to prison if they don't have a high school diploma, just as one example. So it's really important, and the problem is big. But um, I do think I'm surprised at how quickly it's grown. All right, Laura Ducart, thank you very much for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. We want to thank you for being here as well. From the Water Resources Education Center in Clark County, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.